Beam gives you incredible flexibility with your data. Whether you want to store it in a secondary location or restore your VM workloads to an on-premises virtualization platform, Veeam has you covered. Hi, I'm Michael from Veeam. And in this demo, I'll show you how the Veeam data platform works seamlessly with Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure, unlocking powerful capabilities to do more with your backups. In this demo, we're going to start in Veeam Backup and Replication, and in particular around external repositories. And we're going to add in our Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure external repository. So we're going to give it a name, something simple, basically pointing to that hot blob storage bucket that we have created before. Now we're going to have to add in our storage account details. So in this particular instance, we're going to go and grab that from our, our, our portal and we're going to choose the region. And if we're, if we're using a, a gateway, we can do that here. We're going to choose the VB Azure container that we've created. And these are the three options or repositories that we have in this instance, I'm going to use hot. If we've enabled backup encryption, we can add in that detail there as well. And what this does, this opens up the door to be able to extend what we do with those backups. It allows us to achieve things like the 321 rule, but equally from a recovery point of view, it allows us to recover those workloads into other locations. So we're going to import everything that we have within that repository. If we then go to our home and we go to our external repository and our VM backups, right click, and we get all of the options around things like instant recovery into vSphere, into Hyper-V, into uh, backup copy that into a secondary location, could be directly to another object storage location somewhere else. It could be to a local disk. And we can do that from our, our backup jobs that we have there. So we're going to grab everything within that and send that to our target location, whatever that may be here. We've got a default backup repository. What it also does is allow for guest file level restore, restore to other locations and all of that good stuff. I probably don't need to go over the 321 rule in detail, but here's a quick reminder. It's a backup strategy designed to protect your data from failures. It means keeping three copies of your data on two different media types, with one of those being stored offsite. In this demo, we used a backup copy job to create a secondary copy in a different location, ensuring we adhere to the 321 rule. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next demo.